Hi guys, welcome back to yet another episode from The Vibe Guys. Um, last time around, we sort of went in a bit more depth with our voicemail configurations. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's become a bit of apparent that we actually need a sort of a voicemail sort of system whereby we can actually access the voicemails via email and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so Matthias is going to show us how that's done. Mm -hmm. So our step now is uh, to create an email system. Mm -hmm. um, many times if you're testing something, then you need a test email system. And yeah. I could show you something where you could create a test email system very easy. Okay. Because if you're playing around with asterisks, then I don't think that you do that on a productive system. No. And your productive mailer and yeah. everything online. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, you should do it in a test environment. Mm -hmm. I can show you some easy steps okay. um, to cool. use that. Not only for the voicemail system, but also for other testing regarding right. email stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, with asterisk or with something else. Okay. The first thing you need is to install um, all the packages you need. Um, this is a Ubuntu server. Mm -hmm. We did the setup together in our tutorials. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but without any email system. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we need is an email system. The recommended for um, Ubuntu is Postfix. Okay. So we need to install that. Um, then uh, we could configure the mail system. It could be very complicated, but it's easy. Mm -hmm. If you use a smart host, okay. um, where you send all your mails to. Right, okay. So our system mail name is Asterisk, that's okay. And now that's the, that the trick, this is the smart host. Every mail which is created by the system goes to the smart host. Right. Normally okay. this is your internet provider. Okay. Your mm -hmm. hoster where your email is stored. Right. Mm -hmm. But you could also say, no, this is a local address of mine. That one. Then every email goes to that IP address. Uh-huh. Does not matter which domain or which email you are sending to, and that makes the thing very easy because yeah. you can use another tool then. Another thing is we need all the mail utils to test. Mail utils <laughs> now. Okay, and now here's the trick. On my server, um, 129, 186, 100, 245. Mm -hmm. I have a program called Mailcatcher. Mm -hmm. Mailcatcher is available for free, and now every email goes to that server. This is just another Ubuntu server. You could mm -hmm. use the same if you want to. Um, it just, as you can see here on the symbol, it just catches, catches every mail. Okay. So it does not receive the mail and send it to the outside world, mm -hmm. but it just catches, catches it and every mail holds it. and holds it and yep. shows it to you. So okay. it's ideal for testing. Okay. It's a really great project. It's an open source project. It's easy to install on an Ubuntu system. Mm -hmm. Just go to the website of Mailcatcher, just type it to the Google, okay. and um, you will see that's a really great tool for testing. Cool. So we did our setup, now we can try if it works. Um, we just write a great email with echo, hello. We pipe it to the mail program, the subject is test and we want to write it to Matthias. Like this, this is my email address. Uh -huh. Now he just sends the email. Um, but it does not send it to any other host than my testing host. Mm -hmm. And you can see he catched that mail, mm -hmm. did not deliver it to at passcom.net. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can see the text is hello, the subject is test, yeah. a sender is root at asterisk. Uh -huh. So this is really an ideal system for testing. for testing. And you just can say clear, and he throws all the messages to the that's Trash. A cool little tool. Mm -hmm. wow. Our developers are using that for testing and it's really, really handy. Yeah. So that's our setup. And now we can go to um, our problem where we started or which was the reason why we installed the mail system. Mm -hmm. This is the voicemail. I told you that 
Asterisk will try immediately to send voicemails by uh -huh. email. Okay. And now we can prove that. Right, okay. We did change nothing okay. to the asterisk mm -hmm. configuration. And so we just try to leave a voicemail and see what happens. All right, let's have a look. As always, we go to the asterisk console. Here we are. We start our soft phones and we just call 100. I'm not available. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Why are you not available? Thank you. And the great thank you. <laughs> so he, he writes again all the files to the file system storage. And we can have a look to mail catcher. There it is. And there it is. And what's another great, great thing, you can see all the email content. You can see the from, the to, the subject and uh -huh. everything. You don't have to be afraid that somebody gets the email. Right. Or mm -hmm. you don't know who is sending the email. You really can see everything. You see it's from asterisk at asterisk. You can yep. configure it in the voicemail conf if you want to. Mm -hmm. You can see it's going to Matthias at example.com. Yep. This is because of that email was provided in the voicemail conf yep, for exactly. my voicemail box. Yep. And you can see the, the subject, PBX new message 8 in mailbox 100. We did not define that anyway, mm -hmm. anywhere. But this is the default value of the variable right. and it's called, I'm, I'm not sure it's called email subject or yeah. something. You can change this also in the voicemail conf if okay. you want to. Cool. Um, then you get the text, dear Matthias, this is because um, Matthias was the name yep. of the mailbox. I just wanted to let you know, you blah, 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 left a very short <laughs> message, number eight in your mailbox, 100 from James. This is your SIP name, so he even knows your name. Yep. Uh, normally he would not know your name because maybe um, the, the call was over ISDN. Yeah, of something. course, yeah. Mm -hmm. So because it was SIP, he knows your name, when, and so on, and so on. And you can configure a lot. He says, oh, I'm asterisk, and this is your voicemail. You can change all the texts in voicemail conf if you want to. Uh -huh. And you can also provide different languages for different um, countries and different situations if you're yeah, not so if you've happy. Got, yeah, multi-location, one yeah. in France, one in Spain, you can have it mm -hmm. in French and Spanish. And that's a reason why there are those contexts again. Yeah. So you can define one context to be an uh, English context, one to be a German context cool. or something like this. Uh -huh. um, and you can also say if a message is not longer than three seconds or something, yeah. then you can say just skip it. Yeah. Because on many messages, you just hear something like rattle the cuck. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the hang up click. The hang up <laughs> click. And so maybe you can define no if it's shorter than two um, seconds, then I don't want that messages. The next thing is the WAVE file is attached. Mm -hmm. You can change it to GSM or something, but WAVE is, uh, GSM is a special form of WAVE. Yeah. But, um, you should use something that many people can just play on their computers. Of course. So yeah. if you have a strange special codec, nobody can play it. Yeah. Um, it's not very good. Maybe somebody receives that email on his smartphone and he has to listen to the attachment. Yeah. So it just should work and you can try it out. And as I told you, you can reconfigure everything you want to. If you want to find out how, Just go to the voicemail conf and not to, no, not to that one we created, but to that one we saved for later. Mm -hmm. Auric. And here you can find out all the definitions and what's going on. And if you want to find something, it's a good idea to have a look, new message. And then it should work, I did not try it, to search for new message and you can see here I got a hit and the variable is email no, subject. subject. Uh -huh. So there are also variables inside new message, message number in mailbox, VM mailbox, but uh -huh. it's here um, defined and you can read it anywhere, uh, everywhere and then set in the right variables. And so you could edit and change almost 
everything in the voice mailbox system cool. to your needs. Not bad. No, that's it. Then if you're, if you're lucky with that line, just copy it over in your uh, productive voicemail.conf. Yeah. Cool. That's it for our tutorial today. That was pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Cool. Good. Right. Um, that's it for uh, the voicemail configuration for today. Uh, until next time. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Goodbye.